Hi, my name is Claire Bono, and I'm a senior lecturer in the Computer Science Department. I teach CSCI 455, Introduction to Programming Systems Design. It's a fast-paced introduction to computer science that focuses on programming and data structures. While we'll cover programming basics, this course also emphasizes the skills and best practices you'll need to write efficient, well-structured, easily readable code. Basically, anyone can develop a 100-line program using bad style and structure. They can probably even get it working through trial and error. But that approach won't scale when you're faced with writing a 1,000 or 10,000 line program, especially working with an entire team. This class will give you the techniques to tackle bigger, more complicated projects in later CS courses. It's also a great foundation if you'll be doing research-related programming in another technical or scientific field, including fast-growing areas like medical research. And if your goal is to ace technical job interviews, this is a great place to start. We'll start with object-oriented programming in Java, and we'll emphasize best practices like incremental development. The principle here is that it's easier to create a larger program by first developing a small subset. We'll also explore other good development practices like unit testing, test-driven design, debugging tools and techniques, and clear documentation. Next, we'll go into algorithm analysis and some fundamental algorithms and data structures. You'll also learn how to use existing code modules from the Java library for efficient problem solving. Then we'll switch to C++, exploring its similarities to and differences from Java. And you'll pick up the basics of Unix and Linux, a platform widely used in the software industry. This is a very hands-on course with weekly labs, problem solving and lecture, and several programming projects. Programming is time consuming, but rewarding. When you finish the course, you'll be able to write small to mid-sized programs in Java or C++, you know how to manage the complexity of bigger projects, how to pick the right Java tools for specific problems, and understand some basic algorithms and data structures. CSCI 455 is aimed at undergraduate and graduate students who've done a little bit of programming in the past, in, for example, MATLAB or Python. It's the first required course in the CS department's master's program for scientists and engineers. But it's also appropriate if you're studying civil engineering, physics, or other sciences. Students sometimes tell me they've gotten a software job based largely on what they've learned in this class. See you there!